Yeah, so here's the shed uh, that's attached to my garage that uh, the shed holds the uh, CNC router. It's got a little roof. Yeah, here's the PC computer that controls uh, the stepper motor electronics. Uh, there's an electronic unit, one for each of the three axes, X, Y, and Z. And here we are inside the shed. Um, it's insulated so I can heat it in the winter and cool it in the summer. Here's the LCD screen and keyboard for the computer. So let's take a look at the CNC mill. So it's got um, hollow steel square bar that's uh, suspended above the floor by some steel legs. And uh, there's one steel bar on each side of the mill, and this is the length of the surfboard uh, along the x-axis. On top of the uh, steel rod is a square aluminum rod, which serves as the tracks for the uh, unit to, to move on. So here you can see uh, uh, the aluminum unit going across is the width of the surfboard, that's the y-axis and it's sitting on four skateboard wheels that have been uh, milled out to contain a square slot that rides on the aluminum track. So this entire Y-axis unit, which goes across the surfboard, moves uh, up and down along X on these wheels. And the way it moves is there's a, uh, there's a chain that's attached to one side of the shed. The chain then goes through a sprocket that uh, is mounted to an aluminum plate that sits above the y-axis and is attached to the y-axis. The chain then goes around another sprocket, down around a third sprocket, and then extends to the other wall of the shed where it's attached. The central sprocket is uh, driven by a stepper motor. You can see it behind the plate. And so rotation of that motor moves the entire y-axis along the chain. Uh, and that rides again on the um, skateboard wheels on the aluminum track. Uh, let me show you uh, that in motion. So here you can see the entire y-axis being pulled along x by the uh, chain. So the y-axis moves independently of the uh, x-axis, of course, and it, it, um, it's driven by its own stepper motor that's mounted on the end of the y-axis. There it is. You can see it in the back. And it turns a threaded rod. Here you can see the threaded rod. The threaded rod runs through a, a nut, a threaded nut that's mounted into an aluminum plate. Here you can see the threaded nut. And when the rod rotates, the aluminum plate moves linearly along the y-axis. The aluminum plate has some, some uh, linear ball bearings. Here they are here. And these linear ball bearings uh, travel on these polished uh, steel rods. Uh, let me show you the uh, y-axis in motion. So you can see the uh, the y-axis block, the aluminum block traveling towards uh, to the left here, towards me, and. Uh, this can move, of course, independently of the x-axis. Mounted to this traveling aluminum block, mounted underneath, is, is the z-axis. And the z-axis moves independent of the y-axis. Uh, it has its own stepper motor. Here it is. And it's just like the y-axis. It has a threaded rod, which turns through a threaded nut, which is mounted in this brass bar that travels on these polished steel rods, again using linear ball bearings. The brass that travels has a plate 
uh, and the router is, is bolted to this plate. So here's the Z-axis moving down. Uh, there's a speed controller uh, to control the revolution speed of the router. Uh, the router is just a, a quarter inch trim router. Uh, it, it, it has a uh, half inch diameter uh, cylindrical blade uh, that's an inch long, so it can cut one inch deep. Uh, here's one of the blank stands. This is the plastic disc. You can see the plastic tubing in the back that goes to a, a vacuum pump. And the plastic disc sticks, uh, sits on a uh, plastic disc, sits on an aluminum rod that travels through a flange through the uh, floor of the uh, shed so it can adjust the height of the stand up and down. Uh, this is the, the gasket. It's a high density foam rubber with a hole in it. it sits on top and seals the uh, foam blank to the evacuated uh, chamber on the plastic disc.